Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I um, hope everybody's having a great spring day. But for those of you who have been following me, you know I've been making videos about different steps I'm taking to become a full-time traveler on the road. Um, one of the steps was to um, start to purge my house and start downsizing in case I decide to go full-time on the road and I sell my house and I need to put things in storage. Um, it's hard getting rid of your things and um, letting go of things that we no longer use. You know, things have sentimental value. But anyway, that's, you know, I'm working on it little by little every day. I'm doing a little bit more. Um, a second thing I'm doing to prepare for life on the road is taking different measures to uh, learn how to defend myself if I'm out there and by myself and in situations, you never know. But yesterday I took a conceal carry class um, because I choose to carry a GUN. I know not everybody does, but I do. And I'm taking different classes and practicing and doing what I need to do to become more proficient with that. Um, yesterday, I asked a bunch of women who are already living full-time on the road. And I asked them their opinion on this. And man, did that spark up some conversation. Um, of course, it became political, which I kind of figured it might. But that's okay. Everybody has their own opinions and thoughts on that. And I say that's okay. You know, as long as you're uh, being kind and not offending somebody, then, you know, it's good to hear everybody's thoughts on that. Um, to me, in my opinion, I think it's important to be prepared and to train and educate yourself in whatever method you're going to use to defend yourself. You know, if you don't like GUNs, then find something that you are um, comfortable using and practice with that. Because if you don't find that one thing that you're comfortable with, when the time comes, hopefully it never will. But if it does, you want to be confident and know that you're not going to freeze up. You know, you have to be confident in what you're using and know that you can defend yourself. Um, and it never hurts to educate yourself if you're traveling nationwide from state to state, seeing the sites. It never hurts to study the different state laws, you know, to see how things work. Um, and the biggest thing is, for me, if I'm going to be traveling somewhere, and if I stop somewhere for the night and I don't, and my gut is telling me that something's not right, or if I don't like the area, you simply move. You know, you want to prevent um, as many situations as you can and just move. Um, you know, you want to trust your gut and, and listen to that. And not that I want to live out of fear. I don't. Um, I refuse to live out of fear. I don't want anything stopping me from doing the things that I want to do. But I think it's smart to be a little preventative and to learn how to defend ourselves. You know, being a single female on the road, um, we have to do that. Um, but anyways, I hope everybody has safe travels out there in whatever way you decide to do it. Um, and comment down below. I really want to know what you all think or what your opinion is on this matter. Um, you know, I like to hear different opinions just for my own benefit and it gives me something to think about and be safe. And thank you for watching my videos and I'm trying to get more and more out there and become more proficient in this. And let me know, comment down below, and let me know if there's something you want to talk about uh, that might help you um, become a full-time traveler on the road. And yeah, we'll go from there. 
So thank you again for watching and have a great Sunday spring afternoon and peace. Thank you.